Hi guys, so this video is to explain in detail and show detail how to use the airbrush files and when to use them, when not to use them, why you can't use them, etc, etc, etc. So I've opened four over here in different, um, different styles. The first one I have here is the PNG file, just a straight PNG file. And as you see, when you pull it into Cricut, you lose image quality because of the gradients that the airbrush files are made with. You lose that image quality. This is what you get. And if you hit make, you make it the size you need. Let's size it down because it is large. So let's make it a size that, let's say I was going to use a 4 inch. And I hit make. It will print that poor image. It will print it. That is exactly what you will get. And then when it cuts, when it tries to cut that image, you will get. No, that's not that. You will get a, a, a bad shape. It, will, it won't cut properly. Now, if you put it onto a square background and make it a JPEG before you bring it into Cricut, then you will get the... Let me size this down. You will get the image quality, the image quality that it is. It may look a little, just a little different in some instances. It just depends on the image itself and the gradients and how Cricut reads them. But it will definitely look better than this. this you're going to get the full image quality on most. <laughs> So you, you, for airbrushed images, don't use the PNG and unless it is on a shape background. And I will show you um, in this video the shape background as well. So this is um, the uh, JPEG image. So you see the quality, the difference in the quality. Now for the next image, I when I brought it into Cricut, I removed the white background, just the background, the outside background only. I didn't go in and move these white backgrounds. I just did the outside only. It was a JPEG and then I removed the um, background. So let's look at that. It still has the image quality, but you lose some stuff around the edge. And let me show you. I'm just going to put a, grab a square. And I'm just going to make it a yellow color. And I'm going to, let me, let me make it darker, a darker color, blue. And then I'm going to send that to the back. So you see. When you go to cut it out. It will have all of this stuff around it. And you lose some. Especially if you have white near your edges. You will lose some of your um, image. It will take that white out. And I for one will not sell anything to any any customer with this type of quality. I just wouldn't do it. So the last piece I went on and removed some more of the white. Because you know, if you pull PNGs and they tell you to remove the background, if you take as much white as you can take, 
or background as, as much background as you could take it's it's from a JPEG as well so you see you still have the image quality but when you remove that background it just looks horrible and it covered my image up probably because everything is so large so now you see the part of the white up here where the star was <clears throat> it removed that same thing with the other image it removed that I took out the butterflies just to show you it's just this is horrible and if you try to cut this it will cut exactly like this and it will look horrible you just wouldn't want to sell that to your customers okay guys I'm gonna show you how to use the PNG if you buy the PNG and not the JPEG how to use it in Pixlr to add the background that I speak of if you put it on the background then you can print and cut um, that shape if you put it on a shape background you put the print and cut that shape and use that for t-shirt transfers etc 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 but if you do sublimation you need to buy the JPEG version so you could just it's, it's ready to go but you will have to learn how to sh to size it if you're going to use Cricut to print and cut or print not cut to print it out so th there's a lot to using files for airbrush so it's a, it's a learning curve but if you buy the um, PNG files and you want to use it for print and cut for t-shirt transfers you know or um, to make stickers or stuff like that then this first part of the video is for you so I like to use Pixlr Pixlr pixlr.com because it is a free um, editing tool you can use it right from the browser you don't have to sign up you don't have to do any of that you can just go to pixlr.com click click the um, pixlr e and jump right in and start editing you don't want the the quick and easy graphic design editor you want the pixlr e editor you can access this from your um, tablet and the computer laptops only but I'm not sure how much designing you could do from the tablet. I just know it can be accessed from there. I only use it on the um, laptop or computer PC. So come right to pixelo.com, click the first one. Now I've noticed that they've made some changes. So I'm going to create new full HD and then you name it something. And then it will, um, let me just do another one test two and create now right away when I come in is on the black screen so I noticed something was different because I had already had mine set up to the light screen and usually you could click view and come down to toggle and toggle between light and dark but they've set they've done something different they keep changing stuff that uh, since I've been using this program and I only use it to help um, I started using it to help my um, group members in my jewelry group to learn a few design techniques. I use Photoshop to design all of my um, graphics, but I don't do any tutorials in Photoshop because it's it's not beginner friendly, and for one, this is easier to use, and everybody doesn't have access to Photoshop. So I like to use this because it's free and it's 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 beginner friendly. It's easier to use. So I don't do Photoshop tutorials. So in here, like I say, you could come up here and you could toggle. But what I noticed when I came in, this was different. So I went up to hit view to toggle and I see it is the light to dark is gone. So I see this change theme colors is here. So if you click here and you change it, it will go lighter. So this is more Photoshop like for the screen. So you can change it whatever 
is easier on your eyes. As to pre precise image, that's what layer type to add. Show guides. Okay, all of that is. And you, I guess you can make it. Okay, you can change your little accent colors too. Okay, that's cool. Okay. So, now that we're here, we want to grab our image, which we would do file, open image, and go to wherever your image is um, on your computer. So, I already started with this image here from the um, video before this. I was working with this image here. So, this is a PNG. Let me unlock it over here. It's a PNG image. And again, I don't know why they put these large bounding boxes around the image, why it's not, you know, a little more snug to the image. But okay. So I'm just going to resize this image here. Let's see, did they change the... No. Let me, let me see something. Okay, I was trying to see, could I change the unit? Um, of measurement, but it's still on pixels. So, anywho, to do your sizing, you will have to figure that out. But we're just showing you now how to put this on a shape. So let's come over here and click the plus sign, and we want to add empty layer. We're going to grab the marquee tool, and we want to put it on the ellipse or the circle. And I like to hold my shift button down and just drag a circle. And with that done, I don't want Photoshop. You can't do it in here. So with that done, I'm going to grab the brush tool and come up to the top here. And I'm just going to size it as large as it will go. And I'm going to let that stay on white. And then I'm just going to fill that circle in. I should say you should choose a um, brush that is solid to fill this in and not an airbrush or soft brush. So just make sure you fill it in and make sure you go around the cir the edges there to make sure everything is filled in. And then click on your selection tool. You can go up to edit and or select and hit deselect or control D to deselect. Now I'm just going to drag that layer behind the um, top layer or the first layer we use so I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna lock that layer back so I can just move this freely and I want to make sure that I'm getting this I'm just eyeballing it pretty much center and making sure these um, edges here are not cut in any way or they're tucked inside and another way to make sure you don't have any um, edges overlapping the outside because sometimes with these um, airbrush images you you can't see but there's actually some um, graphic some part of the graphic here you can't see it with your eye but the computer can see it so with that set there then I'm just going to take and control and click oh let me um do it this way I'm going to make sure the circle is selected and then I'm going to go up to the top and hit select pixels now we're on that circle layer then I'm going to come up to the um background layer and I'm double click that lock icon and then I'm going to come up to select invert selection but make sure you're on that background or that um, image layer and then I'm just going to select invert selection and then I'm just going to hit my delete button that will make sure I hit it a couple times that will make sure that if there's any graphic any of this graphic outside of this circle it will be deleted because you have the image you want inside of this circle 
Now from there you could just file, save, and you want to save it as, you can save it as a PNG since you already have it on the um, circle, the circle background. So you can save it as a PNG. Let me change the name. Download. Once that downloads, you can hit close and now you can control D. Now you can open this image up in um, Cricut and you can create another circle. I have other videos for that. A circle to, um, you can create another circle to delete from this circle to make an earring. Or you can use this graphic here to print out on a t-shirt. Um, transfer like you know print and cut but you could print this out you can make this circle the size in um, Cricut that you need 6.75 and you can print it out it will be a circle on the front of your t-shirt but if you want to print and cut and do this with t-shirt transfers like the ones you buy from Walmart or the t-shirt transfer paper that you can get on Amazon then this is the way you're gonna have to do it with the airbrushed images because cutting out along the edge it just it doesn't look good it just to me it doesn't look good that, that's just not something I would sell to any customer but this version put it on a shape you can put it on a heart shape whatever shape you want to put it on but because this graphic is circular i would put it on a circle shape i hope this helps for those of you wanting to use this to for the print and cut method and t-shirt um, transfer method or you know the t-shirt paper method I drew a blank, but yeah, I hope this helps. Okay, now let's talk about the JPEG image, especially, especially if you want to use it in Cricut to print and cut to um, do your sublimation, if that's the only program you use. If you use, your, if you use Photoshop, um, Netscape, whatever else you use, you should already know how to use those programs to size your images. To do your sublimation if you already do sublimation so let's talk about the the JPEG image it is an image ready to go you just need to size it to whatever you need to size it print it and then put it on your um, image to sublimate so let's talk about getting it sized appropriately in Pixlr because Pixlr only uses um, pixel units of measurement they don't use the inch I've not seen anywhere where you can switch it over to the inch unit of measurement so you will whatever size you're thinking that you want to use to print then you're going to have to use an online pixel converter to um, put in the inch that you're going to be using and it will convert it to pixels so it can tell you what size that you um should make your image in the program that you're using that only uses pixels which in this case is Pixlr. So we know in um, Cricut the the width the largest width you can um, size your image to is 6.75 inches and since this is a circle image or in this case it's on a square a square image we we know whatever we change the width to is going to be also the height so we don't have to worry about the height the 9.25 inch um, height because we're not going to even get near that so with that being said we know we need a 6.75 and that converts to in pixels it converts to about 648 so you're going to make sure this um, lock is um, 
on and not open. And you're just going to type in 648. So that is the size you need. Let's zoom in. This is the size you need. And keep in mind, the image itself isn't the 648. Isn't the um, 6.75. It is this box, this white part around it. So if you want to get as close as you can to 648 for this image, what you will need to do is grab the marquee tool, come in, and you want to drag a box. And you want to go just just at the edge of the gradient here just to the edge and hit delete well, not deleting okay it isn't selected so select make sure your your layer is selected then you can hit delete so you keep doing that around all the four sides. Trying to get as close as possible without getting onto the image. Get it. Layer deselect. So select deselect. Okay. So now you see it changed it that that image to a size five nine eight, and we know we want six um point seven five. So we know that was six forty eight. Did I say six forty eight? Yes, six forty eight. 648 and then you just save this image if you if you get the JPEG images you just pull it in and if you want that image if you if you're not printing from um, Cricut then whatever size you need you just come in here you go online and find your um, pixel converter if you don't know how to use pixels Go online, find your pixel converter, put in the inch size you need in that converter, and it will convert it to the pixels. And then you just come back in Pixlr and put whatever that size is in the top, and then save that image. Or I think you could print from here. Let's see. Yeah, you could print from here as well. Or print it right from here. That is totally up to you guys. Same thing with um cricket if you don't want to pull it in the cricket and you want this a little bit bigger then you can make it whatever size you need it in here use the converter and make it to the size you need but make sure you get right up to the edge of these images don't get too close because there is um some image um pixels in here in this area so get right up to it and you can print it from here so you don't have to keep switching it from from um, program to program so I hope this helps guys you get the JPEG the one that's ready to go you don't have to do many steps but get it sized to how what size you need it and you can do that easily in here as well also if you buy the jpeg so i want to give you multiple uses so if you choose one and you're like man i should have got the other one i can show you that you can this verse they're both versatile depending on what you need them for so let's say you get the jpeg and you you have this image and you you see how i size it for to make to get the correct size to make your shirt or whatever you're going to be using to get your um perfect size let's say you say well I want to make some earrings with this but it's already a jpeg so if you want to um 
make some earrings with this JPEG, then I'll, if while you're in Pixlr, you could just grab the marquee tool. And since this has white, we could just take that and hold shift down and drag a little circle in this white area here. And then we can edit, copy, edit, paste. So we don't have to go in and fill a circle grab the circle marquee tool and fill it in with the paintbrush so we already have that circle let's um lock this layer for right now so it doesn't move around we don't select it by accident so we have that circle there and you just drag that circle up let's make it a color edit feel for right now and we're just going to fill it with red right now Maybe I need to select the pixels up to select pixels. Cause see here, I don't know. I've seen this a couple of times. I don't know why it does like a double circle type thing or double image type thing. So let's leave it here at this size and let's select pixels before we resize it. And let's do a uh, feel and let's see if we get that same thing. no we don't so I, i'm not sure so before you size it let's just let's fill it before then and um select deselect make sure you click back on your arrow select that see it gets that large bounding box i really don't know why it does that but i don't like it oh, let me get off of that and click on the rectangle and go around it and then edit cut edit pay so with with all of that going on, it may be best just to um, use the selection tool and draw <laughs> draw in a circle. I mean, fill in the circle yourself. So either way, it still got a little bit of extra on it. So. Edit. Good. Edit. Paste. So delete, click delete. So now that um, you got the circle, just drag it over the image. And let's say that your circle, if you pull the circle, it's going to go beyond the image. So let's cut that circle off real quick. And let's get this marquee tool again. And let's just go over this whole image here let's create an empty layer first and then we'll take the brush tool make sure it's the largest you can get and it's on the um, solid brush and we're just gonna brush some white over mind you this layer is on the top So now let's pull that layer to the bottom or bring the um, background layer to the top, either or. And then we're going to go up and hit layer and we're going to hit merge visible. So that makes it one big layer. Now you can put your circle layer back on and bring it to the top. And with this layer, you can... Um, click the three dots over here and you can tone back the transparency so you can see where to place this circle what did I do step back because it deleted my circle I don't know why I did that So you see it deleted the circle. I don't know why. I don't know why we got it back. So let's cut it off. I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to go on this layer and again just take the brush tool. 
just give myself some more edge white edge that's all and then pull it to the back unlock this layer and layer merge visible now let's try this again let's tone back the transparency so we can see through it cut that off size it up place it where you want without cutting your image off on the edge and then select those pixels and click on this image unlock it and then hit edit cut turn all of this off edit paste and save it as a PNG and you can cut out your circles in Cricut I have videos on that so you can look, look through my videos to get those um, details so the, again if you buy the JPEG and you want an earring you can do that as well you can also if you don't if you say this is too much white you can go in and add different um, elements or um, designs you can come in and pick your do your color picker and click OK and in here you know that the stars are they have built-in stars so you can come in and choose something you like and let's go with a 70 click over here did it not click on this oh because I clicked on 70 so go back and click on the star and just do whatever you like just make sure you stay within the circle because I went out over here so just make sure you stay in the circle So you can size it here and then just do whatever you need to do but make sure you stay in the circle. I hope this helps guys.